A good day never hurts so much. Let's recap it and do it again. Hey there, everybody. Welcome back into another episode of Winning Bets, where we're giving out free sports picks each and every single day. And it's your guy, Jason Mattis, who's giving out those free picks every single day. And thankful that you can start your morning with me here. Hump day edition here of Winning Bets. As we said there in the opening there, a little bit of pain yesterday, but yesterday was definitely a good day, and we were able to put some good amount of money up in your pocket. Let's go ahead and recap it, and then we got some good bets for you here for Wednesday's action. As you guys can see right there, we went 4-1 and one yesterday and plus 1.7 units, and now that calls back some of our deficit. Now we're only down 0.82 units now up on the week. What did it go down yesterday? Well, we got that Tigers F5 team total. We did that in a little bit of parlay. Told you guys on yesterday's show, I was looking at that Tigers F5 money line. I pivoted off of that, but if you did play that Tigers F5 money line, you obviously got the win because the Tigers won 2-1, but DraftKings had their F5 team total at 1.5, so I went ahead and grabbed that instead of the F5 money line, but the juice was a little high. It was at minus 140, which is still below my you know cutoff there, minus 150, but I wanted to drive that juice down a little bit, so I parlayed that with there being at least one goal in the France soccer game and then there also being at least one goal in the Netherlands game and was able to get that at minus 128 so that was a lot better there and we obviously got a good cash there as they were able to get two runs in the first five innings we carried that on in the Giants team total over six runs easy easy Giants got 12 runs they beat up Chi Chi Gonzalez it makes you wonder how some of these guys are even employed in Major League Baseball that guy's terrible Terrible. Gave up five runs and one inning worth of work. Eight hits. Boy, Giants just smacked him all around. We also carried that into the Dodgers F5 team total. We needed two runs. I think we believe we got four runs in those first five innings. So that was a nice easy cash right there. Albert Pujols starting off the action with a nice home run there on the top of the first inning. That was real cool to see him you know, get a get a home run there, obviously, in his return back to St. Louis. So that was good right there. We also did an arbitrage bet. We got Fernandez to win at least one set there in the U.S. Open. We were able to scrape across a little bit of profit right there. But the heartbreak, heartbreak. We were one run away from a sweep on our dog of the day. We needed four runs, and the Rangers only got three runs and trying to get to their team total up over 3.5 runs. Just painful, painful. They got three runs in that fourth inning, so still plenty of ball game left to go ahead and scrape out one more run, and just absolutely painful that they couldn't get it done. Again, that would have uh, given us a nice sweep there on the day, but you know, still a nice day at 1.7 units you know, worth the profit. But yeah, that one, that one's going to hurt, and that one's going to hurt even more when the Rangers get four plus runs again today, because I already saw their team totals at 3.5 runs. The Diamondbacks, we you know we talked about it here on yesterday's show, they're throwing a worse starter on today's mound because yesterday they had Gallon, which is you know their ace, so they're throwing a worse starter today. But the juice is too high. The juice was at minus 125, and we talked about yesterday on the reason you know why we bet it was obviously the numbers were there. Obviously, what they've been doing against right-handed pitching, how they had been cashing four plus runs over the course of their last eight games. But then you add in, we got that money, we got that bet at plus money. But today with it being at minus 125, well, I'm gonna go ahead and hold off. But there's pain on it not hitting last night, and it's gonna be added pain, I believe, when they do get to four runs today. So ah, I would say, like I said, it's just what it is. One of those things. It is what it is. But again, just a good day yesterday. So guys, go ahead and hit that like button and let me know you were part of that nice cash yesterday of putting plus 1.7 units up in your pocket. Want to go ahead and remind you guys on ESPN, we're doing an NFL Eliminator, NFL Pigskin Contest. NFL starts tomorrow, so you got one more day to go ahead and get up in these contests. We're giving away $100 on the season-long contest in each of these ones, and then $20 each and every single week in the ESPN Pigskin Contest on both the spread and the straight picking NFL game. So go ahead and join those groups, join those contests. The information to join each of those groups and, and those contests are in this video description. It's easy. Get up in there, compete against your winning, winning fellow winning bet supporters, and talk shit. Have some fun with it. While you're taking my money each and every single week, talk some shit that you're taking my money. Talk some shit that you're beating your fellow supporters here up on this channel and you're preventing them from taking money. So talk some shit and have some fun with that, and we'll have a nice, good NFL season right there. And that's a good time also to chime in on what the next free giveaway bet is. Told you guys on yesterday's show we are going to reveal that, so that's exactly what we're doing. Depending on how long you've been around here, we've talked about how underdogs are profitable. 
and it all started with the NBA. The NBA underdogs are profitable throughout that entire season. We talked about it here on the show, you know, several months ago. We even shared the tweet with you guys that showed how the underdogs in the NBA were profitable. So we carried that on in the NBA or uh, MLB, if you guys recall. There, we did it for the first two months because for the first two months. MLB underdogs were extremely, extremely profitable. We were putting a good amount of money up in our pocket, and then a combination of the underdog or the you know favorites playing better, but also the sports books, you know, they they learn and they adjust too, right? The reason you know take the Giants for example, the Giants were underdogs through a handful of their games and through a lot of their games earlier on the point of the season. Well, Giants are one of the best teams in all of Major League Baseball. They're easily going to be in the playoffs, and they're a serious threat to go ahead and win the World Series. So you you do this early on in the season, there's going to be a lot of profit before the sports books adjust. And again, before the teams, you know, maybe start playing up to what their preseason potential was, so to speak. So we know that the NBA underdogs were profitable. We know at least in the MLB, they were profitable, at least in the good first two months of the season. So we're going to carry this on into the NFL, and that's what the free giveaway bet is. I've gone ahead and put a Benjamin on each and every NFL game this Sunday, obviously betting on the underdog. And what we'll do is we'll just split the profit. We'll we'll split the profit for every $25. That's when we'll draw another name up out of the hat. So if you want to be a part of this free giveaway, supporting the NFL underdogs and NFL week one, you got to subscribe to this channel. And all you got to do is drop a comment on this video. And if you don't know what to say, hey, just go ahead and let me know what your favorite MLB underdog is. Go ahead and let me know. And like I said, I've already gone ahead and bet this. I bet this uh, the other week right there. I, it's going to be too hard for me to when I do the editing to show 16 bet slips. So I'm going to go ahead and just put up this little sheet right here that just shows you the odds of what I've got each game in. So you can see right here, these are the 16 games. These are the 16 teams, or these are the 16 underdogs. And this is the value that I've got at each one. And again, put a Benjamin on each one of the single one of these. So I guess go underdogs for the free giveaway, but I bet imagine a lot of you are probably going to be betting on favorites in NFL Week 1, so maybe we don't want these to hit, but with, with how the ML, NBA underdogs and MLB underdogs have been successful in the past, I just thought that this would be a cool giveaway. I I, I think this is going to hit. I think you're going to see it again, right? The sports books don't know who's who. We think we know who's who, but we don't really know who's who. I, I, I got a feeling this is going to be a good little profitable giveaway. So, yeah, make sure you subscribe to this channel and make sure you drop a video or drop a comment on this video. When I do the recording on tomorrow's show, the entry period will be over. So you got about 24 hours to go ahead and drop a comment up on this video. All right, let's go ahead now and move on and end up into today's action right here. Got a handful of MLB bets for you and also got another uh, prop bet for Thursday Night Football. So that's cool right there for that Cowboys first Buccaneers game. But first, let's get on into the MLB action. For the first one we're going to do is we're going right back to Giants Rockies or Giants Rockies. Giants team total over 5.5 runs at minus 135 over DraftKings. We don't need to break this down really at all. I mean, we cashed the Giants on Monday versus the Rockies. We obviously cashed them yesterday versus the Rockies. So we just don't really need to say all that much. The Rockies starter, John Gray, he's given up two plus runs in all seven of his last starts. That you got to remove an outing, his most recent outing, where only threw two innings pitch. But if you remove that one, then his last seven outings, he gave up two runs. So it's kind of the exact same thing, right? You got a starter on the mound that's likely going to give up multiple runs. We've seen what this Giants have done. They give they scored 10 runs in the first game, 12 runs in the seventh in, in yesterday's game. So they've been hitting this bullpen. Yeah, this is a no no brainer bet. Let's see if we can't go three for three. Let's see if the Giants can go three for three for us here on this Giants versus Rocky series. So that's what we'll do right there. Giants team total over 5.5 runs at minus 135 on DraftKings. Let's also go to this Tigers versus Pirates. Tigers Pirates. We're going Tigers team total over four runs at minus 115 over Fandle. So we obviously do get the push option there with the number being at four. You got Mitch Keller on the mound there for the Pirates. That should be music to everybody's ears right there. We know Mitch Keller. We don't. We really don't need to talk about them at all. We know that the Tigers are going to prevent the sweep. So I absolutely love that. Love teams that are going out in the third game of the series and preventing the sweep. And not only are they going out to prevent the sweep, but the Pirates won the first two games and using their good arms. They got a 6-3 win and a 3-2 win. So the Tigers have seen all their good arms. Even if they're down in this game, what the Pirates roll out of the bullpen, they've now seen. So I absolutely love this scenario of the Tigers, you know, just going up against a really, really weak starter. You know, like I said, we've seen all the bullpen arms at this point right now. It's the third game of this series. They're going out to prevent the sweep. So I like this. I'm going to go ahead and do this Tigers team total over four runs at minus 115 over at Fandle. 
I'm also going to do another team total. I'm going Royals versus Orioles. I'm going Royals F5 team total over 2.5 runs at minus 115 over at DraftKings. We've got Matt Harvey on the mound here. This bet is cashed in his last five starts. We got burned the last time we backed or we um, faded to Matt Harvey because we, we took the full game team total. You guys remember it was just his last start against the Blue Jays. Whatever, whatever it was, it was either 6 or 6.5 runs. Well, they hit Matt Harvey because, like I said, this bet has cashed in his last five starts. I think they got four runs up against Matt Harvey, if I recall correctly. But then they didn't get anything against the bullpen. Well, you know what? We made that bet last week because Matt Harvey is dog shit. So let's just remove the bullpen and just fade Matt Harvey single. Let's not worry about a bullpen and having to scrape out any amount of runs up against the bullpen. This bet is cash in his five starts. We know he's really terrible. And in two of those five teams that he's cashed in his last starts, they have a worse batting average or the same batting average than these Royals do up against right-handed pitching in the last three weeks. So I'm not going to get burned again by doing a full game team total. I'm making this bet because Matt Harvey's dog shit. So let's just keep it to an F5 team total. So it's Royals F5 team total over 2.5 runs at minus 115 over at DraftKings. The next one I want to do here is we're going to do a player prop. We did one of these up over the weekend there on Saturday where we took a couple players to get at least one hit. This day we got to do three players because of the juice is so high. So we're going to take three players to get at least one hit. What are those three players going to do? We're going to do Nick Castellanos. He's a Reds player. We're going to do Brandon Belt. He plays for the Giants. And we're going to do Matt Chapman. He plays for the Athletics. Parlay all three of those players to get at least one hit. And you can get that at plus 138 over at FanDuel. For Castellanos, he's 5 for 10 up against today's starter with a double and a home run. For Belt, he's 12 for 30 against today's starter with five doubles and two home runs. And for Chapman, he's 7 for 17 for two uh, with two doubles and three home runs up against today's starter. So obviously all three of these guys have really great success up against today's starter. And then obviously they can still go to work up against the bullpen. So like this bet right here, Reds are on the road, Giants are on the road, like that right there as well. So they'll be able to go full nine innings. So just a good bet here. We've got three players who are doing damage against the starters. Let's go ahead and parlay all them together at plus 138 up over at Fandle. Let's go ahead and do another one of these MLB player props. And again, we're going to parlay this. We're going to parlay this using the same logic we did yesterday with the Tigers F5 team total. We're going to parlay it with three soccer games this, this today to get at least one goal. What's going to be the MLB piece of Mitch Keller? Mitch Keller, they got his number of 4.5 again, guys. 4.5 again. We already know. We don't need to talk about this. We know this bet is cash in his last seven starts. We also know that the floor for the hits that he's allowed in those last seven starts has been six. I'm really surprised that they didn't bump this up to 5.5 or it's you know not been 5.5 during this stretch. So at 4.5, I feel like we're getting another gift here. So yeah, throw Mitch Keller up over 4.5 hits allowed in that parlay. And then again, we need one goal. It's it's at minus 140. If you feel comfortable doing that, and that is, I feel comfortable even betting minus 140, but why not just throw in a couple, I don't want to say gimmies, because they're definitely not gimmies. You can have 0-0 zero, zero games in soccer by all means, but I'm going to think that there's going to be a goal in Kosovo versus Spain. I think there's going to be a goal in Iceland versus Germany. I think there's going to be a goal in Belarus versus Belgium. So I parlayed those three soccer games that have at least one goal and parlayed that with Mitch Keller over 4.5 hits allowed. And I got that at minus 125 up over at DraftKings. All right, let's go ahead and turn the page now to football. Let's get in one more player prop here for Thursday night football between the Buccaneers and between the Cowboys right there. We're going to go ahead and do Greg Zerline over 1.5 made field goals at minus 105 over at DraftKings. This is obviously the field goal kicker here for the Dallas Cowboys. His point total is at 6.5. If that kind of gives you an idea of maybe what the sports books think in terms of what his production is going to be, they obviously think he's definitely going to get one field goal. So, you know, kind of in that same realm of like Manchester City a couple of weeks ago when we bet them, right? We knew they were going to beat Arsenal. Can they beat Arsenal by two goals for a chance to double your money? Well, this isn't double your money because there's a little bit of juice at minus 105, but it's almost double your money. I think he's definitely going to get one field goal. I obviously think he's going to get two field goals. I feel pretty certain in that because last season this bet cashed in 10 of his 16 games. And in, in, in those six misses, in three of those misses, he at least attempted two plus field goals. So like that right there. We also know this guy's got a really, really strong leg. Does Zerline do last year? He made or last season he made field goals of 59 and 57 field goals. So plenty of leg up in this guy right here. And if we look at the Buccaneers defense last season, in 2020, they were the 11th best 
defense and TD percentage or TD scoring percentage. They allow 59.38% TDs being scored up on them once you got in the red zone. That was the 11th best. So what does that mean? That means that 40% of the time when teams got in the red zone, they either kicked a field goal, they either committed a turnover, I guess they had a you know loss of downs. Maybe they went for it on fourth down, etc. So 40% of the time when teams get in the red zone, they do something other than score a touchdown. Again, that was the 11th best. I kind of like what we talked about yesterday. We talked about Dak Prescott, 2020 you know stats and stuff don't translate to this season, but they are returning all 11 defensive starters. So that's that's a pretty good indicator that last season's numbers will have a strong indication that they can probably carry over up into 2021. So I like Greg Zerline's chances of getting two plus made field goals. I'm going to go ahead and bet that at minus 105 of over DraftKings. All right, let's go ahead and do the recap here. We're going to go ahead and do this Giants team total over 5.5 runs at minus 135. We're going to take this Tigers team total over four runs at minus 115. We're going to take that Royals F5 team total over 2.5 runs at minus 115. We're going to go ahead and say Castellanos, Belt, and Chapman all get one plus hit at plus 138. We'll go ahead and take Mitch Keller over 4.5 hits allowed. Parlay that with at least one goal scored in the Spain match, the Germany match, and the Belgium match. And you can get that at minus 125. And then we'll go ahead and do Greg Zerline over 1.5 made field goals at minus 105. All right, guys, that's the slate today. I'm pumped for this hump day slate. I think we got some really good baseball bets to keep building our bankroll as we get ready to the start of another NFL season kicking off tomorrow. And again, we'll roll out some more bets on that action on tomorrow's show. And look for me on Twitter because on we know on Wednesdays on Bet Rivers you get a 20% profit boost on all MLB games. So may look to add one more bet here to the slate. So just look for me on Twitter to pull the trigger on that one. Otherwise, guys, go enjoy your hump day. Get these bets in. We'll come back on tomorrow's show, add up all the profit and kick off another day. Have a good one, guys. Thanks for watching till the end. I'm Jason Mattis. Any love you can show by giving me a like, a subscription, or a comment, or even just share this video is very much appreciated. And don't forget to turn on your notifications to increase your chances of locking in the same odds as I talked about today and check out my other great videos in these corners.